Good day. My name is Ryan Kolf here with CTC, Connection Technology Center. In today's video, we are going to discuss the two common types of piezoelectric sensing element featured in today's industrial vibration sensors. These two types are shear mode and compression mode. Shear mode sensing elements are a dependable and rugged design and are considered a premium product in the market. Compression mode is a low cost design and has certain limitations. One of these limitations is that it is susceptible to thermal transients. This means that ambient temperature, even within the operating temperature range, can cause a change in output of the sensor. This video will show you the effect of thermal transients on both a shear mode and compression mode sensing element. All right, now we are going to connect our CTC brand AC102 flagship accelerometer to our verification meter. And we will turn on the meter so that you can see the bias voltage. It takes a little bit of time and then settles and you are seeing now 11.2 volt bias. We are also going to use our heat gun here to apply 240 degrees, which is at the high end, but within the temperature range of both accelerometers. We will add heat to the case of the accelerometer without touching it. And you can see that there is no change in output based on the heat being applied. All right, so as you can see, CTC's product is as advertised and will not change the vibration output based on temperature. We are now going to disconnect the CTC brand sensor and connect one of our competitor sensors which utilizes compression mode and we will see the change. And we will turn on our verification meter and we'll let this settle for just a moment. All right, now right now this is showing 10.6 volts, which would be within the range. Now let's see what happens when we apply the same 240 degrees heat to the case. And you can see that only a few seconds and we are seeing a dramatic increase in the bias voltage. We've now gone two volts higher, three volts higher. And you can see here that we have settled somewhere around 14.5 volts. We will turn the heat off now, 14.6 volts, which is a full four volts higher just with heat applied. And you can see we have no shaker here, which means that there is no vibration being applied to this at all. As the heat is removed, you can see now that the bias is now slowly lowering back to the stable state. However, when the heat is applied, you can see that there is a massive change and four volts of change is equal to 40 G's using these 100 millivolt per G accelerometers. So that would be a very big and very inaccurate reading 
if taken at high temperatures compared to the CTC brand.